Hey guys, we're getting ready to run some errands today and so we figured that this would be a good time to um, go over our dining reservations. We leave in two weeks, so excited. And we are going to talk about what we're doing for dining. So we're gonna let Sean drive and that'll be exciting because this will be Sean's first Disney vlog. He was in the Kings Island vlog, but it'll be his first Disney trip and Disney vlog with us. I'm super excited for that. And I'm not wearing the same shirt always. <laughs> <laughs> we have the habit of like wearing the same clothes all the time. And so a lot of the vlogs that you're going to see us in will be in the same clothes because that's the way we roll. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to pull up my Disney experience here. Of course, it's going to take forever. I may be like cutting some of this out right here to look at my plans and our countdown is at 14 days so that's super exciting we do kind of have a, a little bit it's not super super um original i don't know what i'm trying to say what I'm, what's the word i'm looking for we have a little bit different circumstances because my daughter lives in florida with her husband and she is a cast member at disney so we have i don't know it's a little bit I can't think of what the word is. Original or bleh, what, what have you. Oh, well, hang on a second because I have to do something to my Disney app. Okay, so I'm back. So Sean was helping me with my words too. I We have a little bit out of the ordinary circumstances with my daughter living in Orlando and working at Disney. We get to go, we're from Ohio. I don't think I've said that. I mean, it's in our bio, but that doesn't mean you know that. So we're from Ohio, so we do go down quite a bit. And it's also why I go more often than Sean. I am a teacher, so I have a lot more time off um, than he does from his job. And it's also my daughter that's down there, so it makes it a lot easier to go down and visit. So we've gotten to go and do, and if you've watched any of the other vlogs, you've seen her and a lot of the stuff. So let's get started. Two weeks from today, ha, 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 we are gonna be landing in Orlando. Uh, we fly out of the CVG, which is the Cincinnati Northern Kentucky Airport. And we are gonna land in Orlando pretty early. We get to land at like, um, what do we do? Like 8, 10.30 I think is when we're gonna land. So we got to schedule a late lunch and we are gonna go to the Hollywood Brown Derby. Now, if you have watched any of the other videos, you know I'm a freak for Fantasmic dining packages. I don't wanna do dessert parties. Um, I just feel like that's a lot of money for a bunch of sugar, but I really do like to eat food, so I don't have a problem with a dining um, package that gives me a meal, uh, plus the Fantasmic tickets, which I like that a lot. Um, we're both kind of excited to try Brown Derby because we've never been there. Um, I have been to Disney more than Sean has, so there's gonna be some of these experiences like I've done and he hasn't done yet, because he's kind of a newbie. <laughs> so, last summer, we went in July for our anniversary, and that was the first time Sean had been to Disney in what, what did we decide, 22 years? 22 years. 22 years. So I had been to Disney back in like the early 80s when I was a kid, and then I homeschooled my kids in my former life, and we used to go to Disney like twice a year. So we did Disney all the time. We did not do a lot of um, table service dining because we were too cheap and I was a stay at home mom at the time. But now that Sean and I are traveling together, we like to do table service. So two of us, or a lot of times it's, we have our kids, our kids are all older. So we have 19, 20, 22, and 25 right now. Uh, between the two of us, we have four kids. <laughs> we call them fake adults. So a lot of times we try to do some table service when they're with us, but it's really expensive when you're paying for six to eight people to eat. So we end up doing a lot more table service when we're by ourselves. Plus we're older, so that's kind of a benefit of being middle-aged people is we can, um, we can do more of that. So we love to eat. We love it. We love, love, love it. So anyway, back to our first thing is gonna be Hollywood Brown Derby and we get the Fantasmic package. So we're excited about that. I am really excited to eat at Brown Derby. I've never been able to do that before. Um, and we're probably gonna get steak because we're big, huge steak people, but I don't know, we'll do a review. I've decided I like doing food reviews more than just like general vlogs. 
I don't keep up with general vlogging enough. I don't like to get my camera out all the time, but I feel like when we're sitting down, like doing a room tour or doing like a dining review, I'm better at that just because I can remember that I'm supposed to be doing something. If we're just walking around the park, that's not really something I'm very good at. I have figured that out. Okay, so anyway, then we have a couple of fast passes. We have like Rock and Roller Coaster, Tower of Terror, which we love. And then for dinner, we're doing Sci Fi Theater, which Absolutely is. Absolutely love. Yeah. Say it again because I didn't Absolutely have it. Absolutely love it. Love it. We love sci fi. There have been so many mixed reviews, and you know what? I don't care. We love I like it. The nostalgia. We like the nostalgia of it. You know, we were both raised going to the drive in, and that was really fun. But we also, um, I've had ex mixed experiences there. I think I've probably eaten there, I want to say, probably about six or seven times now. What have you been there? Twice? Three times? Three times. Three, three times. This will um, be the third. No, this will be the fourth one. <clears throat> I need to know my memory. Sucks, anyway, so. who knows? It is slow, but we have found that we like the boneless wings and we get french fries. So we're paying for like appetizers and we love it. So we're also, I don't drink milkshakes. Um, so we don't go for that, but have you ever, you haven't gotten a milkshake there either, have you? Uh, yes, I did. did first you? time we went. Okay, first yeah, time. It's good. So last year when we went, we did the deluxe dining plan. And then this year we have like, we had toyed around with it. We've done all the numbers. I do spreadsheets. I'm like psycho. I do all that stuff. We decided that, <laughs> we decided that um, the deluxe dining was not gonna be for us this time. That it was gonna cost too us food. way too much food. Too much food for me. Which, Although I look like I eat a lot. Well, and we're both trying to lose weight because um, my daughter is going to have a ceremony. Sorry, I have to change arms. This is killing my arm. She's going to have a wedding ceremony in November. So we're trying to lose weight, which going to Disney for eight days is not, not conducive. We, look, we both gained 10 pounds last year oh, yeah. when we were there in July. But this time we decided we're not going to do the deluxe plan, even though we are doing a lot of table service and signature dining simply because we feel like we can eat cheaper. Um, we'll see. But we'll see. We're also doing this as partially as like research, really. Just yeah. trying to figure out, are we gonna save money? Um, so who knows, we'll see. We, we know what our budget is, we know what we're supposed to be spending and we're gonna keep track of the receipts and all that kind of stuff. So um, I just wanna see. Plus, if we are trying to eat healthier, last year with the deluxe dining, you get an appetizer per person, you get an entree per person, you get a dessert per person. We had a lot of steak, we had a lot of appetizers and we had a lot of dessert and normally we don't eat like that at a meal. Like we will, um, we'll eat a lot but throughout the day, we don't just eat huge meals. So, sorry, my arm is like going, we're going over hills and stuff, so I'm not very good at this. Tell them, leave a comment if they've ever done it that way. Yeah, if you've ever done it that way, leave a comment and let us know. Okay, then after um, Sci-Fi, we have Slinky Dog Dash. So Dang. excited that we got that fast pass, like so pumped. I'm not excited for the crowds. We really didn't schedule this vacation with the opening of Toy Story Land in mind, that wasn't, I mean, obviously, you know, we're Disney fanatics. I'm wearing my Mickey Mouse t-shirt today. We love Disney, but Toy Story Land, I don't get into crowds and all this, but we have to go when we go, so it is what it is. Um, but we're excited, both of us. We actually have an Alien Swirling Saucers Fast Pass for later in the week, but if we can get both rides in in one day, then we're gonna do that. So we'll do Slinky Dog Dash, then we'll go right to Fantasmic, and then we'll see where the night goes from there. The next day, we're just gonna do a half park day at Epcot. We love Epcot. Like we are huge Epcot people. Um, sometimes if we're just like, you know, what do you wanna do? We just go to Epcot. If we're at the parks and you know, we're kind of burned out on whatever it is we're doing, we just go to Epcot, walk, walk around World Showcase. I usually go to France and get the chocolate mousse because oh my gosh, that is my, probably my favorite Disney treat, like ever. I think I get it every single trip I've gone. This past year, I think I've gone eight times. <laughs> I've gotten it all but one time, so seven out of the eight times. 
that morning we have an early um, before the park opens garden grill breakfast uh, it's at 8:35. the park doesn't open that day until 9 and so we like to do that so that way we get we don't have to get a fast pass for Soren we did the same thing last year we, I think we only waited, what, 10 minutes for Soren? Oh, yeah. It was quick. So um, this year we do have the plan of going in. We did not tell our server last year that we wanted to like get the, give us the check now and all that kind of stuff. So we are gonna do that this year to see if we can get out of there a little bit faster. If we're in line by like 9.15, 9.20, that's fine. Because our fast pass for that day, we have a figment fast pass. Then we have a Spaceship Earth fast pass. And then we have Test Track. So test track is kind of our big thing. We did, um, I kind of forced everybody into the frozen ever after, but now that we, <laughs> yeah, he's not loving that. Now that we have done it, we're good. You know, like frozen ever after is good. It's not that I don't like the ride. We're older and he used to work at General Motors. So he worked for 16 years building cars. So definitely this is test track is, really up his alley it's his thing and we love soren like love it but we feel like test track is a better fast pass for us than um soren because we can usually get on soren pretty quickly if we wait now that's a day that we're gonna do we're leaving the park about a half a day we did have at one point um we've had like three different reservations for this evening we had tep and ito first then we had um, Whispering Canyon Cafe because we are staying at Wilderness Lodge, but now we have Artist Point. We just kind of decided that we've done Whispering Canyon Cafe before. I have done Teppan Ito. We love, I love Teppan Ito and we like Hibachi, but Artist Point we've never done and we figured that when it's just going to be us, maybe Savannah will be with us. We may as well try Artist Point um, and see what we think about it. So we're going to do Artist Point that night. So I'm really excited because we kind of want to do the whole immersive Wilderness Lodge experience. So we're going to try to eat at all four of the Wilderness Lodge restaurants. They have Artist Point, which is their signature. Whispering Canyon, which is their um, table service, Roaring Fork, and then Geyser Point, which I love Geyser Point, and I'm pretty sure Sean's gonna love it, especially at night, like after we're done with whatever we're doing for the day, we're gonna like it. He's gonna love it, I can't wait for it. I've stayed at Wilderness Lodge twice before, once in a standard room, the uh, second time I stayed in a deluxe studio, a Copper Creek deluxe studio, and this time we have a one bedroom villa, at Copper Creek. <laughs> Sorry for my stupid songs. I sing all the time. And it's I see how obnoxious I am later once I watch the videos, but So you probably cut that. I may cut it, but I may not because honestly that's how stupid I am all the time. But anyway, we um for not a ton of extra money, we were able to upgrade from the um, studio room to a one bedroom villa. And the reason that we did is because even though my daughter and her husband are locals, they always stay with us. So we just decided we wanted the extra room. We're also trying to like, eat a teensy bit healthier. We're trying to eat a lot more fruits and vegetables. So we do a lot of smoothies. So we're gonna try to, we have breakfast every day uh, table service. We have almost every night we have a table service or a signature dinner. So we're going to try during the day to like stock the fridge. There is a full kitchen in our um, villa. So we're going to try to stock the fridge and do all that. We'll keep you updated on how we do because we also love junk food and we really like sour cherry balls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we are junk food junkies, which is why we're, I don't want to say fat, but why we're Extra heavier weight. yeah we have extra weight than what we should have so we've been trying to eat healthier so anyway on to the next day oh and we'll probably that's our second night we'll probably um go to geyser point at some point so i will try to do a review on all the places that we're gonna do and geyser point i'm sure we'll be there almost every day so you'll probably get like a long geyser point review Okay, so the next day is gonna be our Magic Kingdom day. And we have, as most people do, we have decided to split Magic Kingdom up into two days. But we may not have to do the second day, depending on how crowded it is. Kinda of hoping with everybody, like the Toy Story Land mania going crazy, that um, 
that maybe everybody else won't be as crowded. I'm sure I'm wrong, but who knows, we'll see. We have Crystal Palace for breakfast that morning. Our fast passes are Big Thunder Mountain, Splash Mountain, Space Mountain, and then, oh, we don't have a dining reservation this night. I totally forgot, because we really like Columbia Harbor House. Um, Sean loves their mac and cheese, which does not fall on our diet plan, but whatever, we're gonna be on vacation, so. It is what it is. It is what it is. I love their fried shrimp. I've never had a bad experience there. I think I've eaten there four or five, I think five times. Um, and we love it. So we just decided we had uh, a couple of different dining reservations. We have eaten at Be Our Guest before. We have eaten at Cinderella's Royal Table. We've eaten at Jungle Cruise. No, that's not what it's called. Skipper Canteen. Where else have we eaten? I can't think of the other. Oh, we have not eaten at Tony's and I'm probably not gonna eat there yet. I'm not a huge Italian food eater and Tony's doesn't get good enough reviews for me to be willing to try it yet. We have also eaten at the Plaza, but we decided to stick with Columbia Harbor House um, that day because we like it. We also may go back to the resort since Wilderness Lodge is close. It's just a boat ride over. We'll probably try to like fit some of that in. Some of that in. I'm also a huge napper. I mean, I feel like I'm geriatric, but <laughs> I'm not yet. But I nap all the time. So I'll probably have to go back to the room about midday and take a nap. And that's just the way I roll. But I also like to stay up really late. So that's probably another reason why I'm gonna need a nap. Okay, the next day we're also doing a half day at the park. Um, we're gonna go to Animal Kingdom half day. Sean's not a huge Animal Kingdom fan. Sorry, peeps, if you like it. Yeah, he's not. It's not his favorite. Um, it's not my favorite either, I have to be honest. I like a lot of things about Animal Kingdom, but for some reason I just get really super aggravated while we're there. So it is what it is. So that day we are doing Tusker House. Um, for breakfast which we love we did that last year we've done it before i think every place that we have scheduled so far no every breakfast i think we've done every breakfast so far so tusker house is what we're doing for breakfast and then our fast pass is our kilimanjaro safaris i'm looking down at my phone that's got my fast pass stuff on it so if you wonder why i keep looking down that's what i'm doing okay so safaris um expedition everest which we love i love that ride and then we have a flight of passage which we love as well i think we've probably ridden it a lot so we really like flight of passage okay so then that's wednesday night and then um we don't have a dining reservation for that night because we're going to try either roaring fork or geyser point um we haven't decided obviously because we're not there yet <clears throat> so we're going to try to do one of those we're going to do like a pool day for the second half of the day on that day um so the next day is we have okay i have no idea where we're at in the vlog because my camera just shut off for some unknown reason don't know why plus i'm not tech savvy so <laughs> i probably should have stuck with my phone so whatever okay so the next day we're doing um cape may cafe which i have done one other time before and this is a character meal that I put off because I really didn't think I would be interested in it and we loved it if you watch any of our spring break um, videos from March of 2018 um, I don't even know what day it is it's in one of our days because I was trying to vlog then I didn't really do like a, a review of the, the restaurant we had such a great time it was my mom and myself um, Savannah my daughter Enrique, which is her husband now, and then Bree, Savannah's friend, we all went down for spring break. We had such a great experience at Cape May, and this is the one place that Enrique has asked for us to please go back to, which he doesn't ever ask us to do anything like that. So I was like, heck yeah, we'll go. So we're gonna do Cape May, which will be Sean's first time uh, at Cape May. And I'm a sucker for a character meal. I get that I'm 45 years old, but there's just something about a character meal that makes me freaking happy so if i'm gonna start every day out with a character i'm good okay and then that night um we watch just out and about so if you don't watch their vlogs you need to because they're great um but kathy goes to california grill because we had been messaging back and forth and she recommended it i was a little we're not 
fancy people. We are pretty basic, you know, Southwest Ohio, I'm comfortable in a pair of jeans and a t-shirt kind of people. But she said, go ahead and try California Grill. I was able to get California Grill at 720. Fireworks start at 915, which I'd heard plan on two hours for California Grill. So we are hoping, hoping that we're gonna get fireworks. Um, the fireworks view. I know that you can go back later, that you can use your receipt and all that stuff and go and see them. But I'm a little bit lazy, a lot lazy. Let's re rephrase that. And I don't really want to go back. So <laughs> we will be able to see fireworks for sure. Whether we'll be sitting at our seat, I don't know. Or if we'll get up and go to the balcony, who knows? Never done it. So I don't know what I'm going to do. So I'm really excited about that. And then the next day, we are super excited about, oh, because it's our anniversary. So we will be married for eight years. We got married in 2010. So again, you don't know a whole lot about us. We're a blended family. Um, okay, so now we're coming to you from my phone because I don't know what was going on with my camera. I don't know if my hair is crazy or if it's just a shadow, whatever. <clears throat> and normally you see me with a hat on because when I'm at Disney, I always wear a hat. Um, but it is what it is. So the next day is our anniversary which we're really excited about. And we are going to Ohana, which we love Ohana breakfast. Um, I think I've done Ohana breakfast. I wanna, I'm gonna guess five or six times already. We did Ohana dinner last year. That wasn't our anniversary dinner, was it? Yeah. Savannah was with us, are you sure? Oh, we did Spirit of Aloha last year for our anniversary, but we also did Ohana for dinner. We loved it. So many people have so many mixed reviews on the breakfast and the dinner, but we loved it. When I asked Sean, I said, hey, what do you want to do for anniversary? He goes, Ohana, Ohana. And that was it. So I was like, perfect. So we're doing Ohana that day. We're also going to try to head, that's going to be our half day Magic Kingdom. We want to do Ohana for breakfast. We want to then um, get up, go to the pool. <coughs> Bless you. Oops, Not get up, go to the pool, but come back, go to the pool, hang out by the pool, you know, just have a relaxing day. And then that evening, right before we go to dinner, because we have a fireworks time for Ohana, which I'm super excited about. So hopefully it works out. I'm so sorry. Bless you. And sorry, I have to keep changing hands because my arm is killing me, but that's probably going to make you sick. So, so you don't get car sick. I'm going to hold it awkwardly right here. We have fireworks for that. So, um, I love Peter Pan's flight. I love it. I love Seven Dwarfs Mine Train and Pirates of the Caribbean. So we actually got three fast passes for that day. So we're gonna get um, dressed up, go to Magic Kingdom, and then get on the monorail and just go over to the Polynesian for our Ohana dinner. The next morning, we're just gonna eat at Whispering Canyon Cafe for breakfast because we've done um, lunch there and we've done dinner at Whispering Canyon before, but we've never done breakfast. So we figured that's like a simple, easy way um, to get Whispering Canyon in and we're already there. That is gonna be Saturday. That is also the day that we have um, Alien Swirling Saucers Fast Pass. So if we didn't get to ride it before, then we have like a later, it's late in the evening Fast Pass. And then for dinner, we're going to the Yachtsman, which we're really, really excited about the Yachtsman. I'm so excited to try. That is uh, Life in Disney. So Rachel's vlog, she recommended the Yachtsman and I watched her vlog about the Yachtsman. So if you don't follow her or watch hers, you definitely need to because she's got lots of good videos, um, good dining um, options and everything. So we picked that one. So we do follow a lot of vlogs and we really pay attention to what people say based off their recommendations because you're spending a lot of money and you want to make sure that if I'm going to go drop $75 on one meal, it better be good. So I'm confident with all of our decisions that we've made. Um, and then the next day is the day that we have to check out really sad. Um, so we are going to go to, um, I just lost my train of thought trails end. Since we're staying at Wilderness Lodge, we figured that it would be an easy walk right over to Fort Wilderness um, Campground. And I think there's a walking trail. Even though I've stayed at the Wilderness Lodge before, I've never done the walking trail before. So we'll see. Um, and we're going to do that for brunch that day. And then it's going to be all four of us because Savannah and Enrique are, should be able to go eat with us. But if not, it'll be the two of us. So that is all of our uh, dining reservations that we have. So if you guys have eaten any of these places or have any recommendations, I do not eat 
fish. I do like shrimp. Sean loves salmon. So I think when we go to Artist Point, he's gonna get salmon. I will probably get filet mignon at most places, unless you have a recommendation of something that's better, but I don't really like any other kinds of steak. I know a lot of people recommend the ribeye, but it's not for me. I am a texture person. So everybody's like, oh, it's got more flavor. I totally understand that, but I'm a texture person. So for me, a filet mignon is the best texture. However, outside of that, if you have any recommendations, let us know in the comments below. And if you don't follow us on Instagram, we have an Instagram. It's all Standoff Chronicles. Um, and Standoff is a blend of our last names. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.